Sometimes lines can be seen on maps. This video explains what those lines are, what they mean and how you can work with them. ISO lines are lines that connect areas on a map with the same value. Suppose we want to show the average annual temperature in the Netherlands. We can calculate that for each location. In the northeast of the Netherlands there are places where the average temperature is 10 degrees Celsius. We can connect these places. This creates a line where the average temperature on the entire line is 10 degrees. We can also connect points where the average temperature is 10.5 degrees. That creates a new line. Finally we can draw an 11 degree line. Zwolle lies between the 10 degree line and the 10.5 degree line, which means that the average annual temperature must be between 10 and 10.5 degrees Celsius. The drawn ISO lines are called isotherms. These are ISO lines that connect places with the same temperature. The ISO terms divide the Netherlands into four parts. Parts where it is colder than 10 degrees, parts where it is between 10 and 10.5 degrees, parts where it is between 10.5 and 11 degrees, and parts where it is warmer than 11 degrees. By working with ISO terms, it is therefore easy to see where boundaries of a certain annual average temperature are. We can also do this for air pressure. By connecting points on a map with the same air pressure, we can see where the air pressure is lowest and highest. Air pressure is measured in bar, which is why ISO lines that show air pressure are called isobars. Let's try it. Southwest of Iceland there are places where the air pressure is 1010 millibars. We connect these dots. Within that are places where the air pressure is 1000 millibar and places where the air pressure is 990 millibar. We can already see that the air pressure decreases as we move towards the inner part of that area. That is why we know that there is a low pressure area. Let's also draw the isobars with an air pressure of 1020 and finally also the isobars with an air pressure of 1030 millibars. This shows a small area above Ireland where the air pressure exceeds 1030. So this is an area with high air pressure and we call this a high pressure area. In places where many isobars are close together there is a big difference in air pressure. Because of this the wind speed will be high. This is the case for example around the low pressure area. At the high pressure area there are few isobars to be seen so there is little difference in air pressure so the wind speed will be low. By working with isobars you can easily find low and high pressure areas, but you can also easily see where the wind will be strongest. In short, isolines make it easy to see differences on a map.